Hi everyone, it's Christy. I want to start a new project today and I just moved my mat. Okay. I try to get it all straight <laughs> and lined up and then I move it. Anyway, I want to work on, I'm going to call this a roly-poly journal. And just so, um, just to catch you, I'm going to come back to the pink journal because I need to um, do some coffee dyeing and, and get a, figure out what I want to use on the inside of this. But I did take the second one and I cut it into a couple tags and uh, a couple pockets and some things like that. And I think this is thin enough that I should be able to sew around it as well. Um, this is still kind of thin even with the Mod Podge, so I do think I am going to put something on the inside before I sew it. So, but we will we will revisit that. Um, in the meantime, the inspiration for this journal came um, when I was at my mom's house and I was getting something for her out of her bathroom and I came across her makeup um, little it girl cosmetics I think it is or something and it, it rolls up and I I had never seen it before and I thought this is the cutest thing this would make an adorable journal of course it's all pink and glittery so that's why it caught my eye because I'm love pink and I love glitter but I am going to try to make one of those so I measured it and um, these are the pieces that I come up with um, I figure if I can make it uh, the size uh, that hers was then I can adjust it so I'm gonna start with a pocket size and I'm gonna call this a roly-poly pocket journal um, so I've got four pieces of chipboard that are three and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches and then I've got three spine pieces um, the smallest one is about three eighths. It's really hard to cut something this thin, but it, it was going to be quarter inch and it's a little bit bigger than quarter inch. So I think it's about three eighths by five and a quarter. That's spine one. And then spine two is three quarter by five and a quarter. And then spine three is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And um, I've got two pieces of craft card. It's the lightweight craft card kind of rolls up a little bit so I think the first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to score for some guidelines so um, I'm gonna do about an inch from the left turn this and do an inch from the left and turn it one more time and do actually I think I'll do it on this side it'll be easier um, I just want about a half an inch overlap here and that's where I will glue this piece to that piece just to give me an eyeball um, actually probably should go ahead and do um, do one inch here oops did it slide on me that's not one inch this is one inch it's jumping oh I'm on the fat side okay let's do the skinny side and let's go slower <laughs> it works okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is attach these and I want to make sure I get good glue coverage here because I don't want this popping um, open and I also want to make sure that this piece is not on one of my spine pieces and the reason for that is because when I did my Christmas um, folio I had some issues with the paper popping um, on those spines because I wasn't paying too much attention to that so I'm going to line this up on that score line. Like so. Let's 
see how well I did. Oh yeah, that looks good. And even these score lines where my one inch matches up. I'll roll that out a little bit. I want to make sure that's good and covered so that it doesn't come back up. The um, I have noticed that the craft cardstock is very resistant. It almost I don't know. It, it almost seems like there's a coating or something on it. So I wonder if I should get some washi tape here. Let's see. I have a, um, it's a paper towel holder that I have my washi tape on, but, um, so I just have to, okay. If I put some washi tape on here just temporarily, to keep that together, at least on one side. Which this is going to be on the inside, so it's not going to to show anyway. But just to keep it together, so it won't. Um, come apart until that that glue gets a good stick so let me trim that it's not really gonna matter because we're folding over this part but okay so I'm going to start with the left here now, if I, if I start with, which is where I want to start, if I start with the, the way this journal is going to roll up is this way, okay? So the bigger spine will be here. I hope you can see this with the, the same tone. If I put this this way, you notice where my spine piece is, um, very close to that join. Um, and that's not really what I want, so I think I'm going to put it together the opposite way and then flip it around, okay? So I'm going to do these pieces here, and what that will do is push this a little closer this way so that this spine comes right in the middle of this back piece, and that'll be better. So, let's do that. I just want to get our, our glue on here. Oops. And I do have my spacer out. What I've done is taken, um, let me get this in the, in the square so you can see it. I'm lining this up. this I don't, this piece was two eight and a half by 11s trimmed down to seven and a quarter forgot to mention that so I'll have that first piece now my spacer is two piece two pieces of chipboard glued together and that gives me um, approximately an eighth of an inch so let's do the next piece here is going to be the the three eighths inch piece. So I want to use my, my spacer here to get that lined up properly. So that I'm leaving an eighth of an inch between and it's already starting to curl all right let's slide this down a little bit now we want to do this next piece here so I'm hoping 
this turns out as cute as it is in my head. Um, and and it, it, I think I said the company right. It, it's it, IT Cosmetics. Um, but, um, yeah, so let's put the spacer here. Put that down again. There again, we're lining up with that score mark. Oops. Score mark on the bottom. I also don't want this piece to move. So I'm trying to be um, careful of that. Lining it up on the score mark on the bottom, and I'm a little off already. Where'd my ruler go? Slide that up just a smidge. And sometimes it's just because the card is a slightly crooked. I'm using an old Fiskars trimmer um, for cutting my chipboard. And I um, had this probably for 20 plus years, but it's one of these. And this is what I use. It is Fiskars, and it has this little um, triangle blade here, which is very dull because um, I haven't replaced it in a long time. But what I'll do is I'll measure with this board and cut through the chipboard. And of course, it doesn't go all the way through. But it gives me an idea of um, where I want to cut. It, it'll cut that starter line, and then I'll just use my um, craft knife to cut through it many times until it separates. Okay, so the next spine is going to be the, the three-quarter inch spine. don't need an awful lot of glue on these pieces because it is going to be wrapped around with the craft um, card. So lay that down, put my spacer in. It does slide a little bit, but it's just a guide. It doesn't have to be exact. Probably would be better if I put a little bit less glue so it can catch quicker. But then I worry it does not going to catch at all because this this craft cardstock. I don't. It must be because it's so textured. It, um, I always have problems getting the glue to work or catch or attach or whatever you want to say. <laughs> the glue works fine. It just takes a little bit longer. Okay. So there again, and you can see it's continuing to curl. Put this here and drop that down. With the spacer. Okay. And that way, like I said, coming across this way, I get more of this line behind this piece instead of on one of these pieces because then every time you move it, it kind of cracks up. So, all right, let's do the next spine piece. Okay, just double checking that I hit record. All right, let's do the next piece here. I'm a little bit off already from that score line, but that's okay. I have plenty of, of area around, so. There we go, and 
then this last piece. And then what I'm going to do is put a couple of um, heavy books on top of this for maybe an hour, half an hour to an hour and let that dry a little bit. And then we'll come back and wrap it and get started from there. I should have drawn a line instead of just scoring but see how it's all curling the, these pieces are curling the craft paper is curling so I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to put some heavy books on top and let it sit for a few maybe half hour 45 minutes and then I will be back okay um, this has had plenty of time to dry um, this is very, very wrinkly on this side, but I'm, I'm not too concerned about it because I'm going to cover everything up. So I want to trim this down over here to about an inch. Don't need all this excess. Okay, and then I want to miter the corners. I'm just going to use this. Um, I think I can just go across the corners like that. Or not. <laughs> it's just a little too thick and I need a new blade. So I will just draw and then come back and cut because I want to make sure I'm not short. Whoa. What in the world? Oh my goodness, this printer. I I have this printer, this HP 8000 something or other. And don't get me wrong, I love it. I have the instant ink, but it when it updates or whatever it does, it does. <laughs> it scares the crud out of me because it's quiet in here and then all of a sudden the printer starts moving around. Not as bad as the other one, but still. Okay, so let's cut these corners off. And then we will glue this down. So I'm going to use my bone folder and kind of crease this a little bit just to get it set up. Okay. So I'm going to crease along here. just to train it to where I want to go. I'm way off here from where I started. I, I don't know how I went so crooked, but that's okay. That's why we give a little extra. So, let's, um, Glue this down on the side. Okay. A little bit of ooze here. Smooth that over nice. A little bit too much here, but that's okay because it's going to be, like I said, that's all going to be covered up. It's more of a mess than anything. It's not a. Because I have it all over my fingers now. 
Yeah, so I'm excited to do this. Um, this roly poly journal because um, I've had it in my to do list for about a month now. However, I have not decided what kit I want to use with this. I'm thinking maybe going back and revisiting some of the um, the ones I did in the beginning. I think I have like a vintage uh, botanical that uh, is an Artie Mays kit that would be nice. So maybe I'll do that one. And um, so I will print that out. As soon as we get this wrapped, I'll start working on that. Got some stuff stuck in between there. All right, this is, is kind of awkward because it's so long. I think if I let some of this uh, glue get a little tacky maybe I'll have an easier easier time getting to getting it to stick sometimes because it, it just wants to lift anybody else have that issue with the craft card I love the look of it I, I um, not crazy about how it glues together But eventually it all works out. So this this ended up being um, a long piece here. So what is this about um, 16 inches altogether? So long I can't see the other end of this. I'm going here. <laughs> Get the right light. There we go. All right. Well, let's get that rounded up. And then I'm going to want to let this dry again, too. And then I'm going to um, get that, um, put a piece on the front here. But I think I'm going to wait and see if I want to do, to go ahead and do um, something decorative. I also want to get in here, but I don't want to tear it like I did last time. See how that just keeps coming up? Oh, that's where that washi tape is. Hmm. Well, we can take care of that. Um, I did, and I, I do want to show you something. I forgot to tuck in my corners. You see how they're not, they're not as nice and tight here. Of course, this isn't sticking all the way. I could probably peel that up. Yeah, let's just peel it up and fix it. It's not sticking anyway. Um, I want to fold that down so that it's not a sharp corner. And I'm just bringing it from the outside in to flatten it down. And that way, when I bring this piece up, I'll have a nicer, nicer corner. Come on now, stick. I'm going to have to put some clips on this. You know what I think I'm going to do? I was watching... Um, yeah, Inky Owl Studio, I think is the name of her page. And she was using um, the little um, clips that we used for quilting. And I know I have some of those somewhere. I'm going to pull those out because I'm thinking, see, this raises it up so it's not flat on this side. And I'm thinking that those little clips that I use for quilting, for holding my layers together, might 
well, will, not might, will lay flatter than this. So I'm going to have to go look and see if I can find those. I'm gonna pull this. Oh, there again, I did it again. Go from this side in and go from outside in. Just to give it just a little better look on the corner. More professional, more finished. Otherwise, you get that um, double thickness of paper there, and it will, um, it can be kind of sharp. All right, this is not going to work because it's not laying flat. So I am going to, there again, I'm going to lay this piece flat like I did a while ago. I've got everything down, and this will hold this in place. Put the heavy books, and while I'm doing that, I'll show you my heavy books. I went to Goodwill yesterday, and I got some. Um, the collect Collected Works of Billy Graham. This is huge. <laughs> I actually got this one for my husband. I'm using it temporarily today. But um, Treasured Poems That Touch the Heart, I thought that would be a little nice little um, tag sentiments for that. And let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I'm going to, well, I have God's Little Devotional Book for Moms. So that's also got some sentiments in it. Um, this one, I'm always looking for older books that have um, a title that I can use that I don't have to cover up. And this one has All Things Wise and Wonderful. Um, I think that was a movie from when I was a kid or... Um, I'm not sure, but I can remove these pages and, oh, bookmark, um, use the cover. It, everything else looks really nice on the cover, so I might want to use that one for me personally. And then I found a Mother Goose nursery rhymes book. With all this, how cute would this be for uh, like a little golden book journal uh, for envelopes and, and tags and pockets and such. So I picked that up. You know, I spent a whole six dollars yesterday. And then I, I found this Reader's Digest Complete Book of the Garden. Look at that. It's got like a two and a half inch spine. It's huge. Um, it is old and the spine came off. Um, but it's got a linen cover and just lots of really neat um, illustrations and things inside. So definitely we'll be using that. But for right now, I'm going to use it to flatten this out. Let this I'm dry. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what it looks like when, we, when it's dry and we roll it up. See you in a minute. Okay guys, it's somewhat dry. There's a few areas where it needs to be um, touched up a little bit, but I think that'll be taken care of when I put the decorative strip in here. Um, I was going to put a piece of the craft, but I, I changed my mind. Um, I think I'm just going to use the decorative papers in here. And I am going to put something in... Um, all of these areas just to reinforce probably a piece of fabric but I wanted to show you how it rolls up the uh, smallest spine is on the right largest on the left and it rolls like this and like this and like this so this is the cover um, this is what it'll look like on the inside it's not exactly um, how I wanted it I measured her little makeup case so I'll probably modify it a little bit if I make it larger um, just to leave maybe a little bit more room for this piece so that this can kind of slide in the middle or lay down there if I made that side just a little bit smaller and this piece just a little bit bigger but for this one I think it'll be fine and I want to be able to use you know uh, I'll probably use an elastic um, band. Let's see. 
think this, I've got an elastic hairband would probably work with that. Yeah, that's perfect. And I can put a little charm on there or something. Um, you can see where the seam is on that back piece perfectly. That's exactly how I wanted it. So, yeah, that's going to be fun, guys. I can't wait to decorate this. So I'm going to get to printing out some stuff, and I'll be back. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.